Yo, what's up? This video has been brought to you by Card Kingdom. Yo, welcome back to another episode of Single Scoop. Sorry if my voice is a little hoarse. Lost it blowing my voice out from just yelling and screaming uh, from MagicCon Vegas. But we came back and we saw a super sweet list by somebody named Average User 48 They got a 5-0 with it, so I had to try it for myself in the best of one ladder. Uh, but the deck looks hilariously fun, and it's Grixis. So you're using Hidetsugu and Kairi, uh, which, as you know, when it enters, draw three, then put two cards uh, from your hand on top of your library. And then when Kairi or Hidetsugu and Kairi dies, exile the top card of your library. Target opponent loses life equal to its mana value. But if an instant or sorcery card is ca uh, exiled this way, cast it without paying its mana cost. You know the goal. We're going to try to get Breach the Multiverse and some things like push-pull, big mana spells, like split cards like that. Uh, just so we can deal the extra damage. Uh, Capricious Hellraiser also helps because Capricious Hellraiser can cost three less if you have nine or more cards in your graveyard. Uh, then you, if you have flying with it, or you will have flying with it, and then when it enters the battlefield, exile three cards at random from your graveyard. Then choose a non-creature, non-land card from among them and copy it. You may cast the copy without paying its mana cost. Now this one checks for non-creature, non-land. So you can do Breach the Multiverse, any enchantment. Oh, did I say enchantment? Like Roaring Furnace? Steaming Sauna? This was a card that I was pretty hyped on in spoiler season. But for those that don't know, uh, the, the first Roaring Furnace is two mana. You unlock that room and it deals damage to a creature equal to cards in hand. But five mana, you have no maximum hand size at the beginning of your end step draw a card so we're gonna see what kind of grixis shenanigans we can get to on the ladder i think having a one drop is always good so i'm gonna try to be honest and uh keep a one drop answer i don't know what my opponent's doing though all right so we at least know they're playing black so this could be oh it's just golgari no one better it's golgari ramp okay not bad, I guess. All right, so Gloom Lake Verge is what I'm going to play, which only currently makes a blue mana, uh, which could be for the better anyways. Uh, to, uh, I'm going to just go ahead and pass. Roaring Furnace will a lot. When I play it, I can go ahead and deal damage equal to uh, cards in my hand to a creature. Um, That's pretty good. You know what? Why not? Sure. It only deals it to a creature an opponent controls. But that's fine. Um, I'm, I'm going to keep all the removal I can get. I'm going to name Demon. And then I'm going to go ahead and just play Hidetsugu and Kairi. They have to kill it right now, which is fine. If they do, it's just random whatever's off the top. Cool. And remember that we are just going to be able to play whatever we want, right? Like, I'm not too worried. Only because I know for a fact that I can just play uh, all the stuff from the graveyard. All right, and then I think I'm going to... Oh, I don't have a, actually a second blue source. Let me see something here. Okay. I'm going to just go ahead and just play another Hidetsugu and Kairi. Maybe they'll kill it. Oh, God. That's right. There it goes. There goes my Roaring Furnace. All right, sweet. Probably these two cards. I'll put Anoint uh, on top. And then I'm going to go ahead and just play another Capricious thingy Uh Target opponent loses life equal to... Okay, well, the second part of Hidetsugu... I, this is the confusing part. Let me clarify this. When it dies, exile the top card of your library. Target opponent lo loses life equal to its mana value. If it's an instant or sorcery card, it may cast it without paying its mana cost. So they've already taken a seven ball to the dome. Um, Let's go ahead now and just play another one. I assume... Hidetsugu and Kairi are going to die again. Solid. They'll take an 8-ball to the dome. I'll cast it. Let's go ahead and bring back both of these. Uh, I'll keep one of these. So I'm going to go ahead and send some damage upstairs. Alright, that didn't do anything, but that's okay. I mean, all I really got to do is get my opponent to take a ton of damage. I'm going to put Breach and Anoint with Affliction back. All right, let's see what they do. And again, the same same deal. And now I'm going to play Spire Bluff. This will then give me all the mana I need. Um, Fires of Victory, that's pretty good as well. Yep, just keep putting all of that back on top. 
play spires, and then I'll pass. Oh, I'll swing, actually. They're dead. <laughs> I forgot about that part where I actually just have lethal from attacking. Oh, that's pretty good. I'll keep. Again, I have some kind of one mana interaction, which we always love. Uh, it's a four mana sweeper. I want to dig towards the land, but I think I, I this is a draw too at its worst, right? So ill-timed explosion, very versatile and probably going to help us get to the late game. Uh, and also find a few of the pieces we need. Nice thing is it's a free discard, so I'm here for that. Uh, hello, game. Thank you. Uh, I would like to get rid of this deep cavern bat. So if they don't do anything and if I keep getting mana screwed... Well, then I don't have to worry about too much. I'm going to have a ton of cards in my hand, so this Roaring Furnace will do wonders. All right, cool. So I have a demon in hand. I can't quite cast it, but Roaring Furnace will hopefully help with that. If I get to Steaming Sauna. Deep Cavern Bat, the sequel. I got to draw cards, so I think my opponent takes Roaring Furnace. Although in reality, I could just bounce the bat whenever I need to. Oh, that's funny. Okay. Um... All right, auto tapper, thank you. I wanted to leave the blue up, but that works too. All right, well, I have a ton of cards in my hand. Check that out. And auto tapper didn't even leave me the mana that I wanted. <laughs> God darn it. Let's see what my opponent's do doing now. Okay, they're going to make me discard a card. All right, sure, I'll throw it into the flood mall. Let's see if I regret that. I mean, as long as I'm mana screwed, I can't do anything. So this is good. I get to just play around your all your rack effects, I guess. I'm getting mana screwed by design. Okay, I'm going to play... Demon. Name Demon. Yeah, sure. I'm gonna just go ahead and draw two. Yeah! Decline. I don't gotta discard anything. Also, I apologize. My voice is extra hoarse because I just came back from Magicon Vegas. Oh, I'm gonna have to discard something. I'm gonna ditch a Hidetsugu and Kairi. If they don't do something and I just draw a land, I think I'm gonna just pl uh, activate Steaming Sauna. Alright, sweet. Uh, I guess I have the mana now to do stuff. I think they're trying to line up another bandit's talent or something like that. Let's keep the mana. Mana allows me to play any one of my three cards in the graveyard, right? So, oh, it only costs nine. It costs three less if I have nine or more cards in my graveyard. Well, great. I'm assuming my opponent will help me with that. So, you may cast the copy without paying its mana cost. All right, sweet. At random, though. It's got to exile at random. Good news is that a majority of the stuff here is... Non-creatures, choose a non-creature non-land card from among them, discard it. Probably should have actually discarded Roaring Furnace at this point. They have like a creature or something like that, is that what's going on here? Yeah, I'll get rid of Roaring Furnace. I gotta leave up mana. Uh, I'll just go ahead and activate Steaming Sauna and pass. Oh, that's right, Terra Sunder. That's pretty good. Sure, you got me. Maybe they animate their land. If I'm my opponent right now, I would just swing. With that land, exile something from the graveyard. Okay, I'll get rid of go for the throat. Uh-huh. Opponent's gonna level up to... Oh, nice. I am so close. Alright, well, I'm gonna go ahead and play Hidetsugu and Kairi. I'll put both of these cards on top. Like that. And then now we'll see what happens. Will I get to actually keep Hidetsugu and Kairi? I'll gladly have it die. Just don't exile it. Go for the throat. They've got to be sitting on that. I mean, they probably have a removal spell. If they swing with Cottage, I'll just block. 100%. Showing me a green. All right, sweet. I love it. They actually killed it for no reason. I'm here for it. And I'll cast it. Breach the multiverse. Thank you. Ooh, that's nice. I think I'm going to get something from everybody here, right? Get a Bat God. Sure, I'll take one of Hadetsugu and Kairi for myself. And let's go ahead and get a Shieldred as well. Let's gain a ton of life back. Weird. I thought you were the aggro deck opponent. Sweet. And then that back on top. I'll draw three, gain six. They're going to bitter triumph their own Shieldred. I'm okay with that. Oh, sick. That's right. It's still my turn. Swing five. I'm going to go ahead and play Capricious Hellraiser. Exile three cards at random. Yeah, I'll cast. Why not? What am I going to throw away? Decline. I'm just going to go ahead and play Thundering Falls. Oh, that's sweet. I'll take that. I'll take that. For sure, I'll take that. And then I'll go ahead and ditch. I actually think I had lethal. Hold on. 
I could have bit a reunion. Ah, whatever. YouTube, don't say anything. I had lethal. I could have played Capricious Hellraiser, given it haste. Well, I guess... Yeah, no, no. They, they wouldn't have had anything because they used their removal on Shieldred. And then we're going to just go ahead... Uh, let, let's, let's go ahead and, uh, get to the next one. All right, GG's. I'm kind of here for this. We have a sweeper. I've got a turn two play. I don't know what my opponent's deck here is doing. Oh, they're going to do some weird, like, like, uh, I, I think I can pick up what they're putting down here. I'm going to just go ahead and keep all my removal that I can find. I'm probably going to fire off this push on this spiteful hex mage. I'm, wait, what? Oh, they're a black, red, just straight up low to the ground artifact deck. I'm kind of here for that. Maybe I should kill the Spiteful Hex Mage now. I'm a little bit worried about whatever they're doing, but you know what? Let's see if I get punished for this. I'm going to go ahead and throw away. There it is. Okay, I threw away Breach the Multiverse. Okay, so they're going to do some kind of shenanigans. I guess they could shrink or wait that's right that doesn't even matter it can't go below one i'll just go ahead and see do i care enough to blow anything up i think i'm gonna just let this all go and then we're gonna try to cast this ill-timed explosion which will then allow me to just go ahead and discard also this push pull thing okay creature activate only as a sorcery okay so they'll make a new treasure oh that's cool okay I see their game plan. All right, well, let's try to shut it off. Um, What do I w want them to not have here? I think I like the idea of just pitching a land. I have blue, blue, so black, red. Okay, so everything I have is fine. I'm just going to go ahead and deal eight to everything, get rid of everything here. They'll get a ton of treasures or whatever, so that's two, five, six. They can go ahead and just put all of that into play. I mean, on the brighter side, if they get rid of everything here, I can just go ahead and... All right, sure. I'll take all the damage. I'll discard. There it is. All right, I'll discard Kyrie. Perfect. Let's go ahead. Let's just lock it in. I'm going to go ahead and draw two, pitch two things. Ditch, anoint with affliction and breach the multiverse, I guess. Deal seven to Rotten Mouth Viper. Uh, game plan is that next turn, I'm going to probably just play like Capricious Hellraiser or something like that. Seems good. That hurts. That's pretty cool with Tarion's journal, though. They draw the card off of, off of that. That's pretty sweet. All right, so they hit a land. Okay, sure. Here comes Greedy Freebooter. You got it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just play Hellraiser. And let's cast Breach the Multiverse. Let's see what happens. What's the worst that could happen, right? All right, so they have actually some of the most useless creatures, except for Rotten Mouth, Potty Mouth. Let me let me see. Do I have anything else I can exile from the graveyard and cast again? Okay, let's try it again. When it, Capricious Hellraiser enters exile, three cards at random. Choose an... Yeah, let's go ahead and try it again. Okay, so let's do this. Sure, maybe they'll make a new, a new body or whatever it is. Or they'll sack something from God knows what, but... Sure. I'll do this. I have no maximum hand size. That's pretty good, actually. Yeah, let's go for it. Let's get a freebie here. Go to my end step. They have to beat all of my current stuff on board. I can throw away this land if they play another, like, Cotton Mouth. Or a Rotten Mouth. Uh, they're gonna sack their Freebooter. Exile the Rotten Mouth Viper. That's fair. Uh, let's see. What are they gonna do? Are they gonna discard your hand? Transform the journal? No. Okay, so they're sacking something. They're playing another Urbrask Forge. Got it. Run it. Um, let's see. Maybe I can just get them all in one go. So, let's see. I've got one, two, three, four, five. Let's go ahead and just surveil with Thundering Falls. Throw away the mountain. I'm going to go ahead and just play Hidetsuguka and Kairi. Ooh, this feels pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and put back Kairi. Right, we'll do it just like that. Kyrie, all this other stuff. I'm gonna just go ahead and get in there and try to swing for, I guess, five. Why not? I want to leave back the body here. I just realized I'm gonna draw this the card that I just put out. Oops, I'm, I'm I missequenced that. YouTube, don't say a thing. Don't say a thing. I know the ta sequencing was terrible there. I just don't want to get randomly killed by anything in a bunch of bodies. So, 
that was on me. That was my fault. That was my bad. I was kidding. I was trolling. I'm glad you all noticed that. All right, what does this do? Disturbing mirth. When it enters, you may sack another enchantment or creature. If you do, draw two cards. When you sacrifice this, manifest dread. One, two. All right, do they have like a bunch of burn spells or something like that? Is that what's going on here? I mean, if they use that instead of playing the mirth thing, I'm okay with that. Torch the tower. That's pretty good. They don't. Okay, cool. So we can still hit them for nine here. That's super solid, all things considered. I think here we go. We're just going to go ahead and play Capricious Hellraiser again. Let's exile some random stuff. I'm kind of here for a push-pull. So let's go for two creatures in the graveyard, right? I want to submit one. I'll choose to keep the current one, uh, which will then allow me... Oh, what did they lose? Oh, it exiled nothing. That's poo stew. Okay, well, I'm going to... What, put back two things here? I'll put back... Roaring Furnace and whatever, sh like, sauna. Let's go ahead and just play... Another Capricious Hellkite. Uh, let's do... Oh, here we go. Sure, let's play it. Reunion, that's what I want. We'll pitch a card. Draw a ton of stuff. Let's go for lethal. Uh, yeah. I have interaction. This seems fine. I don't have any black mana, so I can't use push. But maybe I can find something along the way. I mean, we have Fires of Victory to hold us off. Along with Roaring Furnace, to be honest. So, should be fine. All right, cool. Opponent didn't take a thousand years. That's good. Um, Yeah, I'll go ahead and just throw that card away. Don't care, because push pool can bring that back later. If our opponent has Graveyard Hate, I think we lose. Like, like straight up, I think we lose. Like, a rest in peace ends our day. Um, yeah, sure, why not? All right, I'm gonna blow up ro with Roaring Furnace. Get out of here. Optimistic Scavenger. We're ending their day a little early. Uh, Heartfire Hero, okay. Makes sense, why not? Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and play Thundering Falls. Incoming Black Source. No, I don't know if I like that. Okay, we'll throw away Dragon Friend. I think they have Shielded by, or whatever, not the Shielded by, whatever, but the, uh, uh, the White... Enchantment that is protection or hex proof. Oh, dude, that's brutal. Okay. I got to get rid of silly, silly man 5000. I mean, if they don't do anything, that's great. I have no black mana. That is to be expected. <laughs> it's okay. There are 21 lands left in my deck. I'm going to draw one of them eventually. All right, they exile the land. Ember Art Challenger's probably getting double strike. So that's five damage. No, because I drew another non-black land. How is that possible? <laughs> I have so much black mana in this deck. There's like a million different black resources here. Sure, I'll take another five to the dome. Why not? Monstrous Rage? Sure, why not? Hey, at least I know they don't have protection. So it's 8-9. A board wipe would be so sick. Oh, I drew a black source, though. Okay. Uh, let's kill off the Emberheart Challenger. I think I might be dead. We'll find out. All right, well, luckily, Hidetsugu and Kairi sacrifices itself, so we're going to be able to go breach the multiverse. Maybe I find something nice. Uh, please? I'm going to take Hidetsugu, uh, and then I'm also going to go ahead and get... Sure. It, what's the, what does it do? It deals damage to mana value. Okay, so if they kill my Hidetsugu, they're in trouble. Okay, cool. I could have tried to put two more things into the into play and they wouldn't leave until next turn, but I mean, if, I, if they want to kill Hidetsugu and Kairi, that'd be amazing. Oh, they're going to give itself do double strike, aren't they? Well, actually, how does this work? This is bad for them, right? Because they get first strike. That means they're going to kill Hidetsugu and Kairi, which it then means... Well, hold on. I guess I could just die here, right? Double strike, perfect. So I kill them. Trigger Hidetsugu and Kairi, which will exile, deal them five. 
Yeah, there's a sweeper here. I'll keep it. I do have some two mana removal. It's a little bit slow, but you know, I I, I think I'll live. Uh, fires a victory. Exactly what I'm looking at here. I think that's precisely what I want. Probably gonna get hit with a bat, right? Oh, caustic bronco. Okay, well, let's just go ahead and unlock this door. Let's blow up caustic bronco now. Perfect, and let's go ahead and pass. I feel that yeah, maybe I didn't need to use roaring furnace right now, but you know what? May as well, because I'll, I'll have Fires of Victory, I'll have all this other stuff. Should be able to blow up a good majority of things. Oh, sick. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just play Thundering Falls. Torch the Towers, ideally... Not ideal. I don't think I need that. Not right now, at least. So I'm going to go ahead and pass to my opponent. So I am going to be pretty much operating a turn behind my opponent every step of the way. Just because I have nothing but tap lands. I needed the turn to untap land so I can kill Caustic Bronco. Death Bronco is not something I want my opponent to get the value off of. Opponent's taking a minute. I wonder if they're like checking. Oh, is he live? Is he streaming? Run it. All right, so they have the land that they need. We don't like that. So I'm going to go ahead and just... I think I'm actually just going to burn Caustic Bronco. Right, get out of the way. Take the five. Please and thank you. You have your knight. That's super cool. Super nice. Super neat. Uh, I'll keep the fifth land on top because that's going to be pretty important. Uh, do not need to bargain. I'm going to just go ahead and exile that little friend there. No need for Mosswood Dread Knight to stick around so my opponent can continue to juice me of value. Into the Flood Maw is going to be super sweet if they try to animate or play some kind of four drop. Also, I am so close to having some pretty... I mean, if they destroy Roaring Furnace, that's not a bad thing at all. I may just play Ill-Timed Explosion. I don't, I don't know. Oh, that's sick. Okay, cool. I'm going to bounce this back to their hand. All right. They'll get their demon back. I'm going to go ahead and just play Path of the Dead, aka Cavern of Souls, on demon or something like that. Whatever. I'm going to draw a card. Now let's see if I can play this grindy game with them. What are the odds they actually animate that Restless Cottage? Do they even know what we're doing? I'm sure they know they have to answer this, like, steaming sauna. Just because if not, they're going to eventually just lose to my card advantage. In the, I guess in the off chance they don't care, there's also that possibility, but whatever. I mean, also, I didn't even notice this. Somehow I miraculously got the anime art of steaming sauna, which is kind of dope. Both sides are unlocked though, so I'm, I'm doing my thing. I've got no maximum hand size until they answer furnace, sauna, whatever you want to call it. I need to find Kyrie or something like that. Breach the multiverse would be sweet because then I could discard it potentially, like not exiling it and casting it for free with Capricious Hellraiser. Some good old RNG fun. They're really in the tank. They're, I think they're trying to figure out if they want to answer sauna. There's no way. Why would you be salty? Only like four like actions have happened. Granted, all four of yours have been answered. Like, Bronco, Bronco. No. Okay, maybe they are salty. Never mind. I was wrong. I should have known better. People be salting over the randomest things. That's my bad. Wow. They actually salt raged? Oh, yeah. This is definitely making it into the video. Salt ragers definitely get to make it into the video. So then you can see Roma, Texas. That's right. I'm giving them the nice call out here. Roma, Texas. You see them on the ladder? You give them a little pat on the back. Because we know they're just salty children. Just a salty baby. Just a little guy. He's a baby. You really needed this win. I get it. Um, I'm going to put that on top. And that on top. And let's go ahead and make sure I sequence this correctly. Draw the Shivan Reef. And then I'll pass. All right. Salty baby's going to have a turn. Probably not. They're probably going to... We're going to see an exploding portrait. All right, YouTube. Come on. Come on. You know what this is. Look at that portrait. Imagine losing to me. I am a bad magic player. Come on now, Roma, Texas. Ooh, this must hurt the ego. <laughs> oh, yeah. Early interaction. Praying that I've got more lands to do any kind of basic game action. Nothing better than that. That's a classic crim hand right there. Ooh, Mirex, I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. Uh, I should probably blow up Tiny Bones. I'm not sure, but we'll find out. I just don't want to deal with their nonsense. And now I won't have to. Like, I'll, I'll get something back somehow, some way, anyway. So, it's all the same here. You got it, buddy. Oh, perfect. Rewarded. You know, that's the beauty of it. I might actually bounce that card. No, 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 that's fine. That's fine. All right, I'm going to go ahead and exile Deep Cavern Bat. Then we're going to go ahead and just let my opponent draw that nonsense all over again. 
or play that nonsense all over again. Nice. So this gives me a little more time. I am not sure. I, you know what? I'll keep that just because maybe I need to sweep the board next turn. Sure. Uh, I'll go ahead and kill the Unstoppable Slasher. And I'll enter tapped. Let's just draw two. Great. Uh, I'm going to name Demon, and then I'll go ahead and pass off of uh, Cavern of Souls. Blood Letter of Aklazots, sure. Uh, I, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and discard two cards here. We'll go ahead and get Push Pool. Yeah, I think Push Pool's pretty good, right? I mean, otherwise, after that, I can start refilling my hand. Yeah, sure, let's do that. Boom, blow up everything. All right. Let's find out what my opponent's going to do next. Now, I answered Blood Letter of Aklazots. They knew I had a second sweeper, so... Do I find an untapped land? No. Okay, well, you know what? I can play the grindy game if I have an enchantment, right? Unless they have, like, Withering Torment, then I'm in trouble, but... Uh, let's go ahead. Just play Steaming Sauna. They don't have Withering Torment. They're not a gamer. They're not doing that. I don't believe it. Okay, cool. It's as I thought. As I thought. Three, six, seven. So next turn, we can party on pretty hard. Three, six, seven. Oh, that's so sick. All right, hold on. Let me see. What do we have in the graveyard? I might just play Capricious Thingy-Mabobber. Nah, let's go ahead. Let's just get Breach in. All right. What are we finding? Oh, that's pretty sweet. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and play Capricious from my yard. My opponent... Okay, does the, the land will have it so Akazats flips off the board... Goes back to the opponent. Yeah, we don't like that. Uh, if it had no counters, not return to the battlefield under its owner's control. Yeah, we don't like that either. Play Bloodletter of Akazots from their graveyard. I mean, I get my Capricious uh, Hellraiser anyways. I mean, they can figure out what they want to kill here. All right, Bitter Triumph. You got it, buddy. All right, sweet. Let's cast Breach the Multiverse. Who doesn't love a good multi-breach? Multi ha <laughs> ha. Thanks for making it to the end of the video. If you enjoyed that, check out this video where I use Kona Rescue Beastie to summon... All sorts of random things like, I don't know, Portal to Phyrexia, Valgavoth, and things like that in Standard.